What's going on guys, Stefan here. Today I'm gonna to take you through a workout that I did that really shows more of how professionals and professional teams do their training. It's a lot of body weight stuff, it's a lot of balance, core stability, and really stuff that you guys should be including in your workouts. Back when I was playing in college, we typically did about three workouts in the gym per week, and a lot of these workouts really revolved around big heavy weights and, and just kind of lifts in general. Squats, bench, deadlifts, all that kind of stuff. And in my opinion, we did way too much of that and not enough of what I'm gonna show you now, which is how most professional teams do their training. Everything I'm gonna show you is just body weight exercises. I did throw a BOSU ball in there just to make things a little bit more difficult for myself, but you can also do all these exercises without any equipment whatsoever. As my training has progressed over the years, I do a lot more of this stuff now and a lot less of the big heavy lifts. Although I still use weights in my workouts every single week, I do a lot more of the stuff that you're gonna see now though, a lot more body weight training. But enough talking, let's get into it. In this workout today, my main focus was to work on my core, kind of my overall total body stability, and then single leg balance. And pretty much everything I did, I did in supersets. So I alternated between two different exercises. This first exercise I did is a reverse lunge to knee drive. And as you can see, I threw the BOSU ball in there just to make it more difficult for myself. Especially with the BOSU ball, this exercise is extremely difficult. So if you're just starting out or haven't done this exercise before, just do it on the ground. No need to make it any more difficult than it already is. My front foot stays in the ball the entire time and that's really the side that we're working on that stability. And to go from that lunge up to the knee drive and then back down into that lunge continuously is very difficult. As you can see, it's not easy. So I did six reps on each leg. After I finished with the reverse lunge, I went into a side plank, again using the BOSU ball, just to make it a little bit more difficult, and I held that for 45 seconds on each side. And with most of these exercises, I switched between kind of a balanced stability exercise and a core exercise. And again, the BOSU ball just makes it a little bit more difficult. If you don't have one, or if you're not ready for it, just do it on the ground. I switched between these two exercises, and I did them for three sets each. Moving on from there, the next balance and stability exercise I did was a single leg RDL into a little jump. This exercise is a little bit more dynamic, referring a plyometric jump into there now. So we're working off of one leg, keeping a slight bend in that one leg, reaching down with our opposite hand towards our toe, and then as you come up, driving that opposite knee up, popping off that one leg, and then sticking the landing. Again, this exercise is very difficult and really challenges the balance and stability. But it's also very game realistic and very beneficial for soccer players because you're constantly jumping and landing off of one leg in a game. The players that are able to play at that next level are not only the strongest or the fastest or the most technical, but have the most control over their body. I did eight reps on each leg and then switched to another core exercise. So I just held a plank for 60 seconds, but every 20 seconds I switched what I was doing. The first 20 seconds I was driving my knees up towards my elbows. The next 20 seconds I was sticking out my opposite arm and leg. And the last 20 seconds I just held a strict plank. And again, I did three sets of each. The third exercise I did is just strictly single leg balance. I was balancing on one leg on the BOSU ball and then with my opposite leg I was reaching out in front of me out to the side behind me, and then out to the other side behind me. And doing those three taps in those directions counted as one rep. So I did three reps on each leg before switching into the last core exercise. For this exercise, I did mountain climbers with a little bit of a twist, so I drove my opposite knee up to my opposite elbow. And as you can see, I have my hands on two inflatable balls, again just to make it a little bit more difficult. You can make pretty much any exercise more challenging just by doing it on an unstable surface. This exercise would be a lot easier for me just doing it with my hands planted on the ground. By having my hands on an unstable surface, it makes it that much more difficult because I need to brace my core more to keep myself stable. And I did 20 reps with this. And on to the final exercise. Again, this is a little bit more dynamic, a little bit more plyometric. I just did lateral bounds, just focusing on stabilizing the landing on that one leg. I did 10 reps each side and then did three sets. Now 
And that was my workout. As you can see, it's all body weight stuff, but it's more focused on controlling your movement and controlling your body through those movements rather than just pushing a whole lot of weight. And being a soccer player, you definitely need to incorporate some of these exercises into your daily and weekly training. Even if I'm not doing just a strict body weight workout like you saw now, I always throw either some of these exercises or some other exercises into a warm up or in some point of my workout just because they are very important. Be sure to give this workout a try. Let me know what you thought of it. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave this video a like, leave a comment down below and subscribe for more videos in the future. Peace.